everybody. I don't know about you, but I don't have the time all the time to make lots of dishes and, and have the time to cook like I would like to. So when I cook, I, everyone's like, Chef JDT is here in the house. Everyone's so happy and surprised. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So I have a nickname, but I do have three snacks that are sort of my go-to for really busy people, on-the-go moms, time-saving, not hard to make, and really delicious, healthy, and filling. So let's get into it. First up, this is really hard to make, guys. Carrots and hummus. I don't know about you, I have no time to be making my own hummus. So just go to the store and get a really good batch of hummus, just like I did, some baby carrots, call it a snack. And then you scoop it onto a plate like this. I have an obsession with baby carrots, so I always have these around. And these are also really good to have in the car. They have a little baby carrot snacks that I just always keep with me and they're really filling. But you can do anything, you can do celery, you could do snap peas, any kind of vegetable. Raw broccoli is also really easy to get. If you wanna get crazy, there's some pita chips. These are some of my favorite chips. They're bean and rice chips. They're completely vegetarian, but they are so delicious. So they're gluten-free as well. So I know a lot of people have gluten sensitivities. I do as well. Put this on my plate. Also some pita chips. Definitely yummy with hummus. Get everything you want on it. They have different flavors. I like just the plain sea salt. That's a snack. Okay, so my next snack is another one of my go-to favorites. Come with me over here. It is full of protein, very easy to make. It's adamame. So adamame, obviously you can get it at all your favorite sushi restaurants, but you can also get it at a grocery store and I buy them frozen, just in a bag, very easy. They're organic, they're great, easy to find. And then you just pop it in some warm boiling water for a couple minutes, it cooks, you take it out, and you have a snack. One little fun thing you'll learn about me is that I'm definitely not the top chef of the house. So who has time to find the strainer to strain the adamame? You just go like this. This, drain the water a little bit. I'm gonna let it be known the strainer is right there, but she's doing it her way. Not into it. No strainer for me. That would be a whole extra two minutes to go grab the strainer. Then you have to wash the strainer. Then it's pointless. Look at that. Strained edamame, ready to go. So you just pour it. Oh, oh, rogue edamame. Just pour it into, into a bowl. Then we're gonna sprinkle a little, I like Himalayan pink salt the most, so I just do a little bit like this. And then, that's it. Very easy, full of protein, full of fiber, very filling, easy, always gonna have with you, snack. Good. Third and final favorite snack of mine. Another thing that I, I generally have at least a couple times a week, maybe every day, is avocado toast. So first I take gluten-free bread because it's really yummy and especially if you toast it, it tastes just like real bread. And then I cut into an avocado like this. And you just scoop it out, kind of smear it on like you would peanut butter or any kind of spread. What I like to do is I do a little Himalayan salt on top. And I really like this. So I add in hemp seeds, which for vegetarian are extremely amazing because they're full of protein, they're full of the omega-3s, omega-6s, and they're just, they have a nice texture. And I sprinkle it over, it kind of gives it just a different feel, a different taste, and they're kind of nutty and they're delicious. And then you have kind of a perfect snack. Sometimes, if you're feeling crazy, for even more flavor, add a little bit of lemon, like this. And then, a little bit of chili flakes or chili seasoning. It gives it a nice kick, more flavor, and a salty vibe. Oh yeah, that's really good. So these are my top three favorite snacks for being a really busy person and on the go mom. But I'd like to hear what yours are and any suggestions you have for me. So comment below.
Chef JDT signing out. Tune in for more adventures.